It's time to move on now with the Gothic window. This is part three, and we're going to be looking at creating some stained glass for this. Now, you could certainly download some stained glass image somewhere and use that, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own. All right, so we won't be using that glass dirty. Instead, we'll be putting stained glass on here. And the way that I like to do this is using GIMP. All right, so this is GIMP, and it's a freeware, so you can just search. It's G-I-M-P, and it's sort of like Photoshop, as you can see. I don't use it all that often, so I haven't even updated it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to find an image of my own. Now, you could use a Windows wallpaper. If it's nice and colorful, you could use another image, um, whatever. But I'm going to try using something like this butterfly image that I, that I took. And I'm just going to drag it in here. And that's that's my image. So there's a lot of different colors in here. And it's very simple uh, to do this. So there's a, there's a few different things that you can do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to Filters, Distort, Mosaic. And as you can see, it's already put that sort of cells, like cells 4 or cells 2, whichever one it is. But I'm going to adjust the tile size because I want them bigger. And then we get, you know, you can't really tell what it was anymore, but you do get some colors. And you can adjust various other parameters here, you know, to, to randomize it a little bit or to have it very straight. Now you got sort of almost like hexagon like pattern there. So I'm just going to find a place that I like and just whatever. It's trial and error. So let's say I, I like that. You could leave it at that, but I often like to do two more steps. I like to come back up to Filter, Blur, and choose Gaussian Blur, and just leave the defaults and go, okay, now it's a little bit blurry, but then I can come up and go Filter, Artistic, this cartoon one. And you see that, that sort of darkens the, the edges. Um, and again, it's trial and error based on the tile size and, and this and that. But I'm going to go ahead with that. Sometimes I'll also add, under light and shadow, bloom. It just lightens lightens it up. So let's say I like that. I'm not worried really about the size. Like normally you want to use something square in Substance, Substance Painter, but if it's a texture like this, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to export that. All right, so I am on the glass layer and I'm getting ready to put this in. So I'll leave the glass dirty there just for the heck of it. I'm going to create a fill layer, not inside the folder though. Keep that uh, closed up. Fill layer here, I'm going to open that up. And in the base color, that's where I want to put my image. So I'm going to import it. So I'm going to click this plus here, add resources, and find where it is. There it is butterfly one I've experimented with a few others so we'll see what this looks like I'm going to define this as a texture and just to my current session and there it is and I'm going to drag this into the base color and now you can see that and the neat thing is because because this was mirrored I get it on both sides so it's kind of symmetrical now I should be able to come in here and I can move this if I want or I can, let's see, maybe we can do this, maybe I'll do that, I could scale it, all right, and based on the size of the UVs, that will be what you get there, but I think that looks relatively okay uh, on my layer, and I could call this like, I'll call it stained glass, I can do a couple more things. Um, I'm not going to need normal, I'm not going to need height, but I'm going to bring the metallic all the way up. And I may have something else going on up there. Uh, I'll bring the roughness down a little bit so it's kind of shiny, reflective. All right. And that might be too much, so you'll have to decide uh, just based on where the light is, is hitting this. And I can also, on here, I can add a, a filter, and I can do an HSL filter, and I can change the colors to some extent if I want to. I can really saturate them. 
and I can or I can desaturate them which might look kind of cool as well all right well at any rate we can we can leave it like that for the time being and so what I'm going to do on top of that is I'm going to add a, a fill layer with just heights so I'm going to alt click height I'll bring the height up a little bit try uh, 0 0.14 something along that and I'm going to add a black mask and a fill and I'll clear that and in here I'm, I'm going to actually use cells 4 there it is so I get this and I'm going to uh, increase the balance maybe play with the noise scale a little bit Maybe I'll decrease the balance actually. I think I will. 0.14, let's try that. And I'll also come over here and I'll reduce this to about maybe 20% uh, or something just to give you know a little bit of something else uh, on there. Okay, you can decide if you like that or if, there's, if you want to make it smaller just so we get some sort of imperfections. All right, so I'll call that cells four. And let's make sure, yeah, we're using the HDRI that I wanted. You know, you can do patterns, you can do separate stained glass on here. I'm just showing you a real quick way. That was very quick. But I'll try something else, another image in just a minute. Uh, but on top of the glass, I don't have any dirt yet, so I'm going to add that. Not too much, but something. And we'll use the dirt generator. So we'll have some dirt in there. I'm just sort of push it off to the sides. Let's go back to GIMP and create a new one of these stained glass. Not all of them will work well. What if I just take this lighthouse? Let's just see what, what it looks like. Okay, it's a little smaller, so Okay, filters, distorts, mosaic. Oh, maybe it's actually quite large. Increase the tile size. All right, let's go with something like that. Let's try a filter, blur Gaussian. And let's also try the artistic cartoon to do that let's add that bloom okay let's just see what that looks like I'll just call it landscape 4 all right let's import that we'll import it as a texture to the current session throw that in here we have another another situation let's maybe let's do that okay it's not symmetrical or anything there but that's fine and uh, we can Adjust this again. I'm going to bring the metallic up. And bring the roughness down a little bit. We can add that HSL filter again. Um, I'll just go back to my HSL. Boost the saturation. Maybe we will come back to here. Maybe we'll have it a little bit less rough. Okay. So again, it's be very light dependent. Let's just have a look with a couple of other um, light sources. And here's just your typical panorama. But I like this one a lot. Alright, so, so there we go. We've got some stained glass. 
All right, so have a go at that if you are interested and I hope you get some nice results and uh, we could work on, like I say, making this a different thing and this one a different one as well. We could get some really nice patterns. I might look at that in the future, but for now, I'm going to leave it at that. I might put a different one in and go and do um, another quick model of a door or another window or something, throw some stained glass and we'll see how that one turns out as well. All right, so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.